If you didn't think Will Smith could fall any further, he's out to prove you wrong as both he and Martin Lawrence embarrassed themselves claiming that men should pee sitting down. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. And uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are trying to promote Bad Boys Ride or Die. And they did so by doing a video for Lad Bible where they sit down on this at this table and they're asked ridiculous questions about whether they agree or disagree and then they talk about it. The first question or statement that they are given is that men should sit down when they pee to stop the bathroom becoming a mess. Let's take a look at this. This is just absolutely embarrassing. I think this might be worse than slapping Chris Rock. <laughs> it's up there. It's definitely up there. And this is not how you promote a movie. This is not getting people to buy tickets. This is driving people away. Why are you even doing this? Why is Sony, the film's distributor, having them go out and do stuff like this that just makes your star become a, the butt of a joke? It's just idiotic. But let's take a listen. Men should also sit down when they pee to stop the bathroom becoming a mess. Disagree. Disagree. <laughs> exactly. Martin Lawrence is 100% right. Disagree. Immediately, immediate reaction. Will Smith obviously has not moved his cup at all yet. And Martin Lawrence is going to disappoint us because Will Smith is going to talk him into agreeing. <laughs> So listen, listen, and, and this is a bad one. I think, especially after leg day, right? Because, you know, I had a first, I had an experience with this, and it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I had to pee, and nobody was in there but me. So I sat down. <laughs> I still don't understand why you'd have to sit down there. Like, what's the point? I mean, I mean, I guess maybe your legs are hurting or something like that, but, like, you can still pee standing up. Shouldn't take you that long to use the restroom, and then you go sit down. I really don't know what he's talking about here. <laughs> and ain't nothing really wrong with that. <laughs> ain't nothing really wrong with that, but yeah. I think you have to, you know, sometimes I agree with standing up and holding your slonker. Yes, yes, because uh, it's more manly. I, I think it is more manly. Man, more manly. It's more manly. At least he admits that peeing standing up is more manly. <laughs> manly, but, you know, I just think that, you know, these are, there's gray area. There's gray area in this. In, in this. You got to go real bad. You got to go real, real bad. bad. And you, 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 you Russian, then you might, you might have to sit. And especially. Why would you have to go real? Why would you sit if you have to go real bad? That doesn't make any sense. If you really have to go, it's easier to just unzip, <laughs> unzip it. And stand up and, and go rather than having to, like, take all your, your pants and your underwear off. Like, what are these people even talking about? Makes no sense. It's embarrassing. If you over 50 and you don't want to have to clean the floor up and everything. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Then I go, I agree. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, he convinced Martin Lawrence to go to agree. And how did he convince him? If you're rushing, you really have to go. Or if you're over 50 and you don't want to clean a mess up. I mean, do you not have good aim? I mean, a lot of times now, if you're going in, especially in a public restroom, they have like these things in the urinals that like soften the soften the blow, make it so it doesn't splash out, etc. So there isn't a mess. <laughs> 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 but sometimes, you know, like after a certain age, you'll get that double stream, you know, yeah. for the first couple, you get to yeah. know which way you where it's going to go. You try, <laughs> and you try to just put the thicker stream into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know, until it opens up and pops into a single. <laughs> 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 okay. 
in an ice. That was embarrassing. And as I said, I do not think that this is going to get people to go to the movie theaters, buy a ticket. That's the whole point of doing something like this. One would see, one would think you get your two stars for the movie on Lad Bible. You're doing a press tour. You're trying to get them out there, talk about the movie, etc. Get people interested in the movie. Instead, you just make a fool of yourself. Uh, you, I, it's just not inspiring me to want to go see this film. And I don't think it inspires anyone, especially when the characters that you're playing are kind of these macho men. They're supposed to be these manly men that are getting getting it done. Uh, uh, putting crime uh, to bed, stopping criminals. So I think they're actually driving people away from the box office, something that this film cannot do. It needs to bring people to the box office. We have projections uh, from Sony, according to Sean Robbins at Box Office Theory, that Sony is now only projecting the film will only make $30 million. Robbins, however, predicts the film will gross between 45 and 55 million. So he thinks it's still going to be doing having a maybe decent opening weekend. Deadline notes that the film was originally tracking for an opening debut of 50 million based on pre-sales. However, it was adjusted downwards in recent days, obviously to 30 million uh, with, I guess, the implication that uh, those pre-sale numbers weren't as good as what they actually thought they were, or they kind of people bought them early and no one else kind of came came in to buy tickets as we got closer to release date and that's why this opening box office uh, projection now is at 30 million and the film apparently has a 100 million dollar budget which means it needs to gross at least 250 million globally to break even we do already have thursday night numbers it only brought in 5.9 million domestically so it's not tracking well to break even it's not looking good for this film. Uh, what is interesting is just four years ago, we did have Bad Boys for Life. It was the third film in the Bad Boys franchise. Uh, like I said, it debuted in 2020. It had an opening weekend of 62.5 million. So this new film, uh, according to uh, what we're seeing out of Sony, is that they only have it to tracking to make 30 million opening weekends. So less than half of what the previous film did. The movie did go on to gross 204.4 million total in the domestic market and then it added another 220 million internationally for a global gross of 424.4 million and the film made a bunch of money because it had a 90 million dollar uh, budget and um easily surpassed the break even point of 225 million so it's not looking good for this one we're looking at an opening weekend being over half not even making over half of what the first one did it's not looking good, and you've got your stars here embarrassing themselves, claiming that they sh pe men should start peeing sitting down to make sure the bathrooms aren't messy. It's ridiculous. It's, em it's embarrassing. I really feel sorry for both Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. The fact that you are even doing this uh, kind of reeks of desperation. Sony shouldn't have allowed you to do this. It it it's just a complete and utter turnoff. It really is embarrassing. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.